of all devices related to home assistant, smart home and home automation, Reddit is probably the only place that I don't visit that much. But I do know that Reddit community is very big, probably even bigger than the Twitter community and community forums combined. So if you're interested to track what's going on with the Home Assistant community on Reddit, or any subreddit there is on Reddit, today we'll be looking at Reddit integration in Home Assistant. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Reddit integration has been added to Home Assistant long, long, long time ago. But unfortunately, until today, only 19 people are using it. And by the way, I really do like to release these videos and see if this number does climb or do my videos have impact or not. So if you do like this integration, don't forget to install and also enable your analytics if you want to do so, so we can see this number increase. For the historical reference, on the 7th of June 2022, 19 installations use Reddit integration. Don't expect miracles from this integration. It really is some kind of web scraper. Although it's not using web scraping, it is using the API and we will have to get client ID and client secret and create our own application on Reddit. But believe me, it's just three or four clicks and very easy to do. And if you are interested in receiving in your home assistant, 3, 5, or 10, which is maximum, of latest topics from your favorite subreddit, let's start the integration process. There are a couple of things that we have to do. First of all, this is not a UI integration, so we will have to create a sensor in the YAML. But before we do that, we have to get client ID and client secret from the Reddit. In this video and in my setup, I'm using a dummy account which really is not a dummy account, it's just one additional account I created besides my standard Reddit account. Why? If nothing else, for the security reasons. First, let's grab the client ID and client secret. Click on this wiki page. You will see that this repository has been archived, but we are only looking at one link here. And by the way, direct link to this app preference will also be included in the description of the video. Click on this app preference. If you are logged in into the Reddit and you are using a standard account, log out and create a fake or new account. And no, this is not mandatory. If you want, you can use your standard account. We have to go to the bottom of the page, click on Are you developer to create an application. Here, give an application a name. Next thing that is mandatory is to click on the script. Because we will be using this script type of integration, and this integration will not work with web app or installed app. Description and about URL can be left empty. In the redirect URI, you can paste the URL that was on the previous page. I will be also leaving that URL in the video description. Just copy this redirect URL, paste it here and click create app. You now have this new fake application and for client ID, we will be using this one. And as for the secret, we will be using this secret here. That's all we need besides our username and password to match this account. Let's go back to Home Assistant. In Home Assistant, go to your favorite YAML editor. You can use either file editor, but I prefer Visual Studio Code. In my setup, I'm using separate file for each of the sensors. So I will be creating a separate file. If you are using one single file where all the sensors are, you should start with something like platform, Reddit. And this will activate the Reddit platform integration inside Home Assistant. But in my system, each and every sensor is in a separate file and I have to remove this. Next, we have to specify a couple of mandatory fields. Username. This is your Reddit username. Of course, you can use secrets file. Just don't forget to add Reddit username to your secrets file. Then we have to specify password for the Reddit. And next we have to specify client ID and client secret. Remember that you have to use here the same username and password that you use to create the application. If you, for example, created a special Reddit account just for this integration. And the last step is to list all the subreddits that you want to track. 
This can be, for example, Home Assistant, Voron Design, which is subreddit for Voron Design Printers, News, World, News, or of course, any other subreddit that you want to track. And this is it. If you have specified your client ID, which is this topmost number, and client secret, and that's this string here, you should be good to go. Before we restart our Home Assistant, let's check configuration. And if everything is okay, just press on restart. While the system is rebooting, I really would like to thank everybody who is supporting me on the YouTube channel and has become a YouTube channel member. Thank you all for all of your support. And also thanks to each and every one of you who has watched, liked or subscribed to my channel. If you too want to support the channel more, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member. Thank you. And by the way, if you did like this video so far, don't forget to hit a like. In order to check if everything is working, go to states or press E and search for Reddit. We have Reddit Home Assistant, Reddit News, Reddit Warrant Design and Reddit World News. This means that the integration has started and probably picked up something. Let's check Reddit Home Assistant. We have here 10, which is okay because this integration does limit and pick up only 10 latest things from the Reddit. Let's click on Attributes. And here are all the threads. The question is, now that we have everything here, what can we do with it? There are a couple of ways, but I will show you the simplest one. And unfortunately, there are some quirks with it, but I will tell you after we edit. For this, you have to have HACS enabled. Go to Frontend, Explore, and type here Reddit. Reddit card, which has 606 downloads, 8 likes, and one current issue open. And click on Download this repository with HACS. It says that it will be downloaded and located in the configuration WW Community Reddit card subfolder. Click on Download. It is not loaded. Click on Reload, and everything seems fine. Let's click on it and let's copy sample code. We will copy this here. Besides these three options here that we need to set up the card, we also have option to add header, which is optional one, and if you set it to false, you will not be seeing a header which lists all the subreddits and the new tab option, which allows us, when everything is set up correctly, by clicking on the link to open the window in a new tab. In the overview, let's create a new dashboard, plus, I will call this one test Reddit, save, and here we will be adding a card, manual card, and paste everything we copied from the HACS Reddit card page. But there is an error. It says that custom element not found Reddit card. Let me first add here other sensors. Sensor Reddit Home Assistant and Sensor Reddit Voron Design. Let's save it. I don't know why this is happening and I will definitely be opening issue with the author of this card. But there is one bug and I figured it out. If we go to the settings, dashboards, click on three dots for resources, you will see that HACS files Reddit card is here, but the file name is null. What you have to do is click on it and instead of null, just type here reddit-card.js and click on update. Of course, you will have to reload or click cache reload the home assistant. And if we now go to Overview, Test Reddit, you will see in the header a list of all the subreddits and of course, latest three topics from each of the subreddits. Let's click on three dots, Edit Dashboard, and let's customize this one a bit. So you have a couple of options. What I did in my setup is that I created a card for each of the subreddits. If you don't want to do that, you can of course stack all the subreddits in one long, long card. 
we mentioned that you can play with the maximum number and for example you can change it to 5 or 10 which will if you have a lot of subreddits make that card very long next one is new tab and we set it to true this will allow us that when we click on the links and the links to each of the threads on the subreddit is this comment section here it will open it in a new window the other option that we have is header and we can set it to false where you don't see any header there or you can give it your favorite name if we leave this one out we will see the list of the subreddits press save and as you can see there are now 10 topics for each of the subreddits as i mentioned in my setup i have created separate list for each of the subreddits which makes it look nicer i mentioned some of the issues or problems first issue we have already talked about and this is null instead of the name of the javascript and as I mentioned, I will be opening ticket in a couple of minutes and I will also be posting a link in the description of the video so you can track if the issue is resolved or not. The second thing is something that I think not a lot of you will like. I don't know if anybody noticed, I know that at least one person has noticed it, is that my screen is white and that's a clickbait because... If I would be using my standard dark mode, yeah, it just doesn't look right. Unfortunately, in this Reddit card, formatting is embedded and it doesn't follow the system settings. So it's always white background with some grayish text and the blue links. But nevertheless, I really do think that this is fun integration. And of course, you can also play with it. You can create automations that would be triggered based on the state of the sensor. And remember, each change to the sensor would that trigger that automation, which can be a good thing, also a bad thing, especially if also the upvotes are counted, new comments are counted, etc. So be careful on type of the automation you create for it. For me, I'm just happy to have a list now of my of the two favorite subreddits in one place inside Home Assistant. And this is it for this Home Assistant how-to with Bearded Tinker. I really do hope that you did like this video and don't forget if you did like this video to give me a like. If you have any kind of a comment or a question, you can always leave comment down in a comment section below, but also feel free to go to the Discord server, because probably I will be answering you there much faster than I answer YouTube comments, although I do try to answer each and every single comment on YouTube. If you still haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell button so you also get notified on the future video releases and streams. And I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye-bye and have fun.